Welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where I sit in the car and BS welcome to be Carbs. Matt Zine here. We are at Carl's Jr. to try their brand new Monster Angus Thick Burger. Uh, thick burgers in general, pretty good from Carl's Jr. Uh, thick burger quality in general, we talked about this before though, at least where I'm at in Southern California. I feel like they've gone down a little bit, so this might be some redemption for them. Also, every time that I say the title of this thing, I think of Monster Anus Thick Burger. <laughs> It's because I'm a child. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Reckless Eating. Give us a follow. Patreon if you want content, early deleted videos, uh, that kind of stuff. Our podcast is up there as well that we put up at the $5 a month tier, which I'm thinking about switching to the $2 a month tier because why not? Uh, and yeah, just overall, how you guys doing? How's life? What's your favorite product to get from Carl's Jr.? I know most people say the Double Western Bacon thi uh, Thin Thick Burger. The Double Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Uh, for me, that, that was it. Yeah, 100% that was it. So... This thing's expensive. What was it, like $8 or something? I'm not really sure, but it's expensive. It is a good looking, wow, that looks great. Aesthetically, oh man, looks incredible. I mean like, yeah, that's good. It's, man, remember the days of like McDonald's? Still, still a thing, by the way, a few McDonald's. Where like, you just get like this sad looking burger. This thing, oh man. Oh, that looks fantastic. Great job at this, lo at this location. It's uh, Carl's Jr. out here in Rancho Cucamonga. Very, very, very well done. All right, let's get a big bite. Oh, I don't want to stab me though, huh? Okay. It's a solid burger. Um, nothing really like stands out on it though. It does tend to seem that it's just like a really good burger, but there's no like wow factor. I was thinking maybe the cheese or the sauce would get that job done, but it's just, you know, it's a lot. The, I think the meat is almost overwhelming, and I think it definitely drowns out the bacon uh, and the cheese and everything else. The bun's good. I like the bun. Uh, but it, I don't know, it's, there's a disappointment factor behind it, and I don't know what that is. It's almost giving me, like, Burger King burger vibes a little bit with that flavor. Strange, I can't put my finger on it. It's just, it's it's good, it's good. I remember the days when I would get a double western bacon cheeseburger, then I would drive through to Jack in the Box, and I'd get an order of their curly fries to, not only get the curly fries, but to get their ranch, and I would dip the double western bacon cheeseburger in the Jack in the Box ranch, because I was very fat. I'm still not skinny, but I was way fatter back then. Uh, okay, so this burger, I'm gonna give a four out of five. It's a good traditional burger, but that's what it feels like to me. Traditional burger. It doesn't feel like at any point it really it really changed the game or anything. It's just a really solid fast food burger. Like, I would get the double western bacon cheeseburger over that. That's kind of the benchmark for me. I'm definitely going with that over this. Uh, but yeah, I guess either way, that's that. It just seems like it's a normal burger. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. And can I, hey, this is real. I need you to answer this. Please leave a comment, please. Can I be your thick burger? I'm so nervous. Oh, okay. Introducing the challenger. Main event. Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 261 pounds. Chris Benoit. Yeah. Bad America's sweetheart. Oh my God. Steve. Oh my God. Rogers. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm so nervous. And introducing the champion. From the Garden of Eden, weighing in at 267 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Colonel! Oh, <laughs> fuck, here we go! Capcorn 2, 2 out of 3 falls! Oh, fuck, it's on! It's on, baby! Oh, fucking hell, Cap wants that belt back! Corn wants to build a new legacy with that title! Let's go. One, one, one's got to give. Got to give, dude. The one. Thank you so much for the follow. You came at the right time. Here we go. Main event of the evening. Two out of three falls. Let's get it on. Oh, fuck. Oh, Cap takes the early advantage. Snapmare takeover on Corn. Picks him up. Cap. Oh, Corn counters with an arm drag. I'll just cap in the face. They uh, they lock up headlock takeover by Corn. 
Korn knows that he can beat Cap, obviously. He's grabbed Cap's title before to be champion, but Cap is one of the best in the industry. Oh, and Cap wrestling takedown. Korn trying to wrestle out of it, get to his feet. Korn breaks it, switch behind. Yeah, Snapbear takeover brings Korn down to a sleeper hold. Cap, knee to the back. Oh, wow. Korn back up quick. Cap reverses the Irish whip, throws Korn over the top, and he holds on. And oh, Cap punches Korn down to the outside. Cap is not afraid to go into a brawl on the outside. And Cap will do as much damage as he can. Korn swats him off, though, and throws... Oh! Throw, Korn throwing Cap into the steel steps. Oh, Brown has a 20 count to work with on the outside, so these guys can brawl for a little bit if they want to. If the whole fucks this up, we riot? That's fair enough. They gotta get this back into the ring for a pinfall. Korn just got smacked. Cap picks him back up. With those... Big shots. Corn counters. Punching Cap down. They're having a brawl on the outside. And Cap throws Corn back into the ring. Knows he has to throw Corn into the ring to get a pinfall. Cap. No, oh, nice backbreaker. Picking Corn back up. Takes two pinfalls to win this matchup. Cap with those punches. He can go all day. Picks Corn up. A nice suplex. Horn selling that back. Cap knows he's got horn uh, corn on the the ropes. Stomp onto the back. Horn back up. Oh, big lariat catching Cap out of nowhere. Corn in control now. I don't know for how long though. Oh, goozles him and takes him down, slamming his head into the back of the mat. Going for the first cover. What? Oh, not even a one count. Cap kicking out before even a one count is implemented by the referee, Hobo Brown. Oh, Cap going for the cap kick. Corn catching his, his leg. Cap, though, still in control. Knee to the back. Oh, look at him wrapping his arms around in a, a, uh, a full, not a full metal, in a straight jacket sleeper. He's got him trying to wear down the champion. Korn never expected to be in this situation, but he's here now. Obviously, these guys have had two weeks to prepare for this. Or a week, actually a week. Korn trying to take Cap into the corner. Yeah, no, he puts him on the ropes instead. What is Korn going to do here? Lifts him up, putting him over on the opposite side of the ropes. Dragging Cap over and slams him down head first into the mat. He thinks that's enough. One. Oh, kick out. Kick out. Corn only getting a one count. Got to stay in this. Don't get distracted. Cap reverses the Irish whip, putting Corn in the corner. Oh, big clothesline. Cap into the ropes. Getting momentum. Oh, shoulder tackle. Getting Corn out to the middle of the ring. Irish whips him. Catches him. Cap. Oh, big reverse power slam. Corn back up. Corn no sells. Kicks Cap in the midsection. Oh, the Corn Olio. The Corn Olio. One, two. Oh, Cap kicks out of the corn holio. Oh man, corn hitting a signature maneuver and Cap able to kick out. Corn hitting first blood on the first Avenger. Cap back up. He's not gonna let that hinder him. Catch him. Oh, the Capitude adjustment. The Capitude adjustment. One, two. Oh, Cap goes up. Cap goes up the first fall. Corn, Corn just got pinned. Corn got caught. Cap goes up the first fall. Are you fucking kidding? If Cap gets another pin, it's over. Corn needs to do two falls. Are you kidding? Corn with the elbow. Oh my God, Corn's got to come back. Oh, the Cap and dude adjustment. I what the fuck? Corn. Oh, the big, big punch. Oh my god, all right, Korn's back in control. Are you fucking kidding that early? Korn has got Cap. Puts him up on the ropes again. I think he's gonna try that same maneuver. Try to slam his head into the mat again for the second time. He gets it, Cap goes down. Korn, one, 
two oh cap kicks out corn's got to hit more than that he's got to hit the corn stock ddt the corn holio the knockout knee they're all at play he oh he puts cap down ignores him oh the power bomb cap gets caught and corn is at a disadvantage now he's got to get two pinfalls what is he waiting for corn just standing there maybe thinking about his strategy i don't know what he's thinking about cap is is ready willing and waiting cap comes back corn kicked to the midsection the corn stock ddt the corn stock ddt one two oh cap kicking out fuck cap kicks out of the corn stock ddt corn is definitely at a disadvantage here oh the knockout knee he hits it this is what he won the title with the knockout the knockout knee one two three we're even we're even corn and cap are even they're even corn catches cap in a headlock oh my god it's the next fall is the intercontinental champion we're tied up corn he's stomping on cap putting that knee on the neck trying to to limit the breathing corn feeling it right now oh my god i'm so nervous corn picks up cap oh big lariat cap tries to get up but corn keeps him down corn to the ropes big jumping lariat cap in trouble cap in trouble corn kick the midsection oh the corn stock ddt the corn stock ddt is cap done oh my god one two it's over corn wins corn wins corn is the intercontinental champion he defeats captain america again in our main event oh what the fuck corn wins everybody who doubted corn he lost the first fall and he came back two falls after corn is the intercontinental champion what the fuck dude <laughs> wow oh my god they went at it <laughs> corn corn corn